Hey y'all, welcome back. Alright, so let's see what the price is from Honey and Darling for completing all three days. Let's see if it's worth it. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I would rather that than have rupees. So like how they're hugging each other since we won. I believe it's if we win, I don't know that or it's if we fail as well. I don't ever really paid attention. <laughs> Anyway, so now the next thing to do, I'm going to get the letter to Mama out as we're heading there. I'm going to give the letter to the postman so that we can get the postman hat check. Even though, of course, we know it's not going to be the postman hat since we already have it. <laughs> I think that was like, one of the first few items we got on either the first or second episode. don't remember exactly which one, but regardless, we're going to do that. And of course, we're going to then reset the cycle, since, well, we can't really do anything else after that. And then we will check Grand Gran, aka, or Nan Nan. I think Grand Gran, Nan Nan, whatever. And just Grandmother, <laughs> so that we can get the checks from her as well. And then we will head to Great Bay, which I almost said Oceanside Temple. Which, I mean, it would also work, but doesn't work as much. Yes, hello. Priority mail. <laughs> this is priority mail seal. Heck yeah, it is. Now we shall wait in the bar for him. We could follow him, but same time it's not necessary. Ooh. I Let's first get that out. <laughs> By that out, I mean let's not make time slow. Let's make it normal now, since that will definitely help us. <laughs> It'll quicken up the pace. So, more cats coughing and sneezing in the background. He currently has a little ear cold. No, he had a, he had a head cold. Which then turned into a burst eardrum, which I feel really bad for a little, little dude. But then he also had some teeth issues as well, so... We have him on meds and stuff like that, but he's still coughing up here and there, because he's still... Uh, you know, he's still feeling that cold a little bit. I feel so bad. But, uh, yeah. So we shall wait in here. So yeah, if you hear the cat coughing or anything in the background, don't mind that. We're getting him help so that he doesn't have to cough anymore. He's been feeling a lot better lately and definitely more active again, which is nice. And I just realized that these are cows back here. I didn't even you know, look around before. I didn't even notice they were here before. I love that. Kind of wondering if that's where any hats would go on or something like that, because it kind of looks like they could be coat rackets. Also, I met you guys, met you guys, meet you guys in here. Needed whatever got you guys in here, because I wanted to read this conversation since we don't really get to see this anymore. Only once. I have the delivery for you, postmistress. Oh my, can't it be? You're still here? T t tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see this guy? It's terrible, darling. But, but... Oh my, well... What shall we do? It's from Cafe! It's priority mail. I'm not gonna try to do a voice man- The postman's voice. <laughs> Sometimes I could do it, other times I can't. I'm so happy to think something would come... In the end. Good would come in the end. Thank you. Now for the That's an order. Understood. <laughs> so I could just imagine, and imagine him doing a salute. <laughs> but alright, now we shall wait for this little bit. Also, for some reason, as a kid, I always thought that you had to wait until 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock to get him. And since playing and watching and realizing, not at all, you just have to get to mail to him. <laughs> I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am now free! I can set my own schedule! I don't need this anymore, so here, I'll let you have it. Oh, he gave us our heart, guys. He loves us, and we love you too. Oh yeah, look at him. Be free! Be free! That's too bad you can't see him in Terminal Field. <laughs> Anyways, let's reset the schedule. Or the cycle, not the schedule. <laughs> Which I mean technically yes, but also no. <laughs> Well, let's do that so that we can you know, go into the inn and use the old night's mask, do that jazz, and then afterwards I'll get the 
key from the scout a house in a swamp and I'll meet you guys in Oceanside after that. Still won't be in a little bit. Yes, I know the quickest way is through the west gate. Do I care? No, because I already know how to play this game. Alright, uh, mask out, great. I was like, it was mid-sentence, I was like, what was I trying to say again? I don't know. <laughs> so that's the story of my life. <laughs> Anyways, continuing on. Inverse, now that we canceled on time. Not that we really need to, but I still like to. Uh, yeah, we want to go this way. Sometimes I get east and west town mixed up, and not north and south. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna play the sun song. Oops, that looks like that's gonna mic cut. Hopefully, this won't be too bad, but we will see. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that noise and stuff like that. Oops, not quite eight. Still seven, but that's okay. We can do it again. There's no rush, you can literally just go in at night time anyways. So I'm like, we'll either reset the schedule, or the cycles, or we won't. Doesn't really matter. I already forgot that what we get from <laughs> Anshu. Don't think it was anything important, I think it was like a heart or something like that. So I'm not too worried about that, considering we just have to buy the end key if we really need it. Oops, that's the wrong door. I forgot that she's actually down below and not up above. Alright, Anjo, are you still in here? Nope, just you and me, Nanan. Gran Gran. Oh, Tortoise, did you fail in his helping father? Let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? And yes, I will read these out to you, because... Interesting stories, and again, you only get to see it once per game, so here we go. The carnival time, is it? The carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahem. <laughs> the carnival of time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are aligned. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The carnival of time is when the peoples of four worlds celebrate the harmony of requests, fruitfulness, for the year, and request for illness, I mean, <laughs> that's a bit uh, troublesome of reading, you know. For ages, people have worn masks resemble, resemble, that is a word that I have issues reading. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring homage to the mask of the carnival of time. I mean, homemade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is said that a couple of we that if a couple is united on a day of the festival and dedicated a mass a sign of their union, it would bring luck. For the centerpiece of the carnival is a clock of tower. It's a clock tower, and on the eve of all the festive festivities, the doors to its roof open. From the top of the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held. An ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the year to come. Oh, alright, that's the two hour one. You did a great job. That's all for tortoise. Now, when does the clock town roof open? I think. One of these is the one that says, I don't know. I think it's this one. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, that's fair. It's kind of what I figured. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I guess we'll speed through this again. <laughs> it says, like, one of them did. I just couldn't remember which one. But I guess it's a two-hour one. That's the, I don't know. Says, girl. That's whatever. <laughs> All right. There's two hours again, which is whatever, because we're going to go to the next day anyways. I don't know, Grand Grand. Well, in that case, you try again with Mother. Rude, you're not even going to give me your prize, girl. So you did. <laughs> oh, well. No, it's the four to four giants, which should give us something. The four giants, is it? It's quite a long 
but it's good story to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. Um, <laughs> the four giants. <laughs> this tales from long ago, when all people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One is a step north, south, east, and west. If you have need to call us in a loud voice, declaring something such as, "The mountain blizzard has trapped us," or "The ocean is about to swallow us," your cry shall carry to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why must you stay? Why not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune. The people sang a song and prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cries, the cry, and responded with a roar, "O、oh, imp, O、oh, imp, where are the protectors of the people? You have caused the people pain, O、oh, imp. Leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart." Oh damn! The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Well, damn, that didn't feel like a day. Good job. Wasn't that fun, tortoise? What did the people do? <laughs> the giants. That's right, but you couldn't just sing a song anywhere. What are the steps north, south, east, and west, baby? The spots. <laughs> I started to sound like Mickey more than an actual old person. Not that I did it big to beginners, but still. <laughs> the spot at which these giants parted is right in the middle of the very town. And I guess we're just not getting any prizes for her. How weird! I have to look that up to see if that's a glitch or anything. But regardless, though, I will now just go ahead and you know get us the key to the swamp, and I guess I will meet you guys in the swamp then. Oops, that's right. I actually have to go. <laughs> Don't mind me. But yes, I will meet you guys in Oceanside Temple, aka Great Bay. All right, and here we go. So just decided to drop us off in front of Gecko's room, of course. I almost said Wart because technically you're supposed to fight Wart before you come here, because you get the ice arrows from Wart. But no, it looks like we're just gonna do it in somewhat reversed order. Of course, definitely not. But I mean, in a way, for the most part, it was normal. And I'm also not going to bother using Fierce Dita Link in here because it's just gonna be easier. Well, it would be easier to use Fierce Dito Link, but it's a lot more, uh, <laughs> a lot of easier of a chance for him to get us if we do use Fierce Dito Link, so I'm not gonna do that. So he's gonna back off here in case it doesn't decide to break. There we go. Because sometimes I'd shoot a little bit too early and it just ends up just not. Oh, that's completely missed him. There we go, but at least we've got. To two shot him because of, you know, the great fairy sword that we have very quickly here, like right at the beginning. Freaking love the great fairy sword. Also, love how we finally have Fierce DD Link. That will make war a whole lot easier as well, because we could just shoot him instead. Don't have to worry about that. And yes, hello, real bomb shoe, my dear little friend. Ooh, okay, the giant's mask. That means once we. Yet to get to the stone tower. Oh, come on. You know you want to mark it. Okay. It's a little bit、uh, laggy there. Okay. Oh, but didn't even realize that we can just shield 
midway going up there. That looked very, very funny. Wait, wait, wait. this should... So you, let's go through this room. Nah, no, that's right, that just ends up going back there. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything before we move on. Let's double check here as well. Okay, nope. We should be able to switch because we have the red. I made sure that the red pipes were going. I don't know if it makes both pipes. Oops, did not mean to go in there. <laughs> Looks like we're just going back to that room again and back out. Alright, <laughs> whatever works. So it looks like no would be a no, but I guess we can just find out. Oh, oh calm down there, buddy. Yeah, you will go down there. <laughs> don't complain to me. I'm not complaining to you, so you don't complain to me. I also totally forgot what we got from that chest. <laughs> it's awkward. Okay, so we're going through red pipes. No, we're going through green pipes. Wait, which way are we going? It okay, looks like we're also going to red pipes. That means going down to the bottom. No, I missed that. I was just going to gradually go down to the bottom and not have that happen again. But here we are, lo and behold, doing that again. <laughs> just want to make sure 100% that we aren't going to miss anything, any rooms or anything. It's missing rooms. Oh, okay, and that happened again. <laughs> this went too far. I guess it would just have been easier just to go straight Wait, yeah, no, you're staying away from me, buddy. Sound here is where I was trying to go. There we go. <laughs> so you don't want to miss this either. Since this will allow us to get some more checks and stuff like that. And the other red pipe, which we definitely need. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. We don't want to fight this guy. We want to keep one of these guys alive. Which means... You, a little Octorok, forget to be the <laughs> one we freeze. So that was the most awkward way of getting here. Whoops. That was also very awkward. Yeah, you keep your nasty freaking popcorn out. Like, away from me. Like, you chewed that, you pre-chewed onto that, and I don't want to eat your nasty popcorn there. Okay, and here is well where we will fight wars. And this here is where I will then use Fierce Dealing. Since, well, again, it will make it a lot easier. Plus, I'm not too worried about this boss now that we have, uh, so many hearts. My gosh. <laughs> Plus the fact we have Fierce Dini Link, but we also have the Great Fairy Sword. But I just really want to use our our boy Great Great Fairy Link, apparently. May as well. It's just the same damage. You can do double the damage. Okay, thank goodness it's already down here too, which is kind of cool. You we realize? Okay. We're just tall enough to just be able to hit it straight up. I'm just, I'm just trying to, uh, just trying to do some spin attacks here. Okay, I don't think we can just hit the eye like this. Holy, I'm sorry for, uh, anybody who has epilepsy. Okay, oh, missed him. It's just like, what is happening? Also, I got a fairy beforehand, just in case this guy screws us up. Chances are the bubbles are going to be the ones that screw us up more than Ward himself. Oh, <laughs> just so awkward. Okay, should just get a. No, this is gonna try to target him, but no, he just wants to <laughs> just wants to target these, I guess. Okay, there we go. Makes it a little bit easier, and it's actually clear. No, I see that the eye is open. Okay, this is at the end does not make it all e any easier. <laughs> In fact, just makes it harder. I think it's just because we have to technically just have to shoot his eye, but oh well. I'm still going to try. Come on, buddy. Turn around. There we go. <laughs> well, it did make it a lot faster, but it also made it a lot more awkward. <laughs> but alright, anyways. Let's see what we actually get from... What would be the Ice Arrow chest, then. So I just realized I'm not using the Great Fairy's Mask. But I guess that's because we got most of fairies anyways. Well, fairies, quote-unquote. Here's you guys can't see the air quotes. Speaking of a fairy, okay, that is definitely the 11th, okay, just making sure that marker is correct. Perfect. I like that. But alright, that was really easy. <laughs> Usually it takes me forever to beat that guy, but since we have OP weapons and stuff like that on us, it was nothing. 
Alright, but now we can go back to the entrance. Maybe. There we go. We can go back to the entrance now. As long as we don't get stuck up there again, which this time we were able to avoid it. Phew. Would have been super awkward if that wasn't the case. <laughs> but alright. And there's no ladder on the side. Shoot. Hello, Mount Indeed. That's okay. We can just jump up on here. It's always so awkward when they just try to dive. And they, I mean, those links forms in general. Just try to try to dive, but there's nothing he can even dive to. So he just dive and either hits his head or just rolls like that. It's like, man, I wish we could just dive and just easily roll like that. Make it so much quicker. Oh, let's cancel it out. Which means we have to go up there. Okay, I see. I see, I see. We have to go up. I forgot we had to hookshot to that. I knew it was just one way to get up. But I couldn't remember if it's automatic or if we had to go up there. Which we do. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now it's reversed properly. That was super awkward. I don't know why Link just decided not to jump right away. I mean, Antonio. So you said saying Link because I've never actually really used any other names. <laughs> so it's just like, whoops, I forgot it's actually Antonio. Or it's T in my, uh, my personal seed. Whoops. I was gonna say, Zora Link, please don't like, hit your head. Well, it's not going to be Zoro Link because he's probably going to try to dive again. <laughs> he has calmed down the little spiders. We are not here to approach your web. We are just here on our merry way so we can keep on doing what we want to do. Okay, now we shall go down. Oh, and I guess Gecko technically would be... Oh, that would have been awkward. And I guess technically Gecko would actually be the one to get Ice Arrows West now that I think about it. Wait, no. Wart, wart is a one. I was thinking. Oh goodness, that's right, this room. Surprised no, uh, no bonefish tried to just nom on us there. Which, I mean, I ain't complaining, but it's still a surprise. Okay, see if we can actually do this on time. If not, then it's just gonna be really awkward, which, I mean, this tempo is already just awkward. I absolutely love this temple, but this temple in general is super awkward to do. But we have this at least. Well, Link has decided, no, we ain't gonna do that. So very curious, I don't remember if it's this game or not where we can just switch our ice and fire arrows. Don't know which button it would be. It's definitely not that, maybe if we are going, ah, holding it down. That makes it a lot easier than having to switch back and forth. I know that for quality of life, whoever made the randomizer, I don't remember, wish I remember so I can credit them. They decided to uh, have that as an option too, because just like Wind Waker, how you can just switch it feels absolutely satisfying. <laughs> and it's a button to use shield if you guys are going to play using the randomizer, and are curious to see which button it is. Ooh, got a bottle of milk, okay. We can heal ourselves, that's too bad it's not another, an extra bottle. But that's okay, I'm not complaining. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad, but I still just wanted to make sure. Oh, a fairy that we can't even use, but that's okay. We do have another fairy on us, and good to know that we can get another one there. 
So I guess it will be the safest. Oh, okay, whew. So scary because it's just so slippery up here. It can just easily just fail the jumps like that. So, whew, we did not. I'm happy we didn't. Oh, hello. Chew jelly room. <laughs> okay, and I guess while we're here, I think. Okay, yeah, this is awkward. Nope. Something was leveling us out. We were leveling ourselves out. That's what it was. <laughs> there we go. So we want to go under here anyways, and on top. But I believe Mr. Tallboy can actually just climb on top of here, if I remember. No, sometimes he can, sometimes he can't. Yep, there we go. It's a lot easier to just get this one, so we don't have to go all the way around. Oh my goodness, that's actually a vanilla one. Okay. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> it confuses me when it happens, but it happens. Oh, that's right. We, we do want to go up there, though. So we can go across, but we can climb up here, I think. Yes. Then we can just try to maneuver our way over here. Whoa. Or not. But that's okay. Okay, buddy... What are you doing there? My dear... <laughs> my dear little Chew Jelly friend. By Chew Jelly, I don't mean Chew Jelly. <laughs> but you are a Chew Jelly, though. But we are here. We are back. I don't know. If I fast forward that, it will make more sense. If I didn't, it will still make sense. <laughs> so it just took me a while because I was just trying to use Fair Data Link. So you guys could tell. But the end doesn't really matter that much. The only reason we really needed to go around up that much was to get that one stray fairy that we got at the beginning. Other than that, we didn't really need to do anything like that. So over here, I guess, would be the boss room. Which we can't really do anything here. We can't even get in the boss room right now because... Oh, wait, no. Sent us back over here. Okay. Well, I mean, that works. Can we, can we get back? Oh, yeah, we can't get back right over there. A dirt. I believe it's the green pipes. Now that, no, the red pipes that we have it, that we have done now. I think those are the ones that can only go through one way. So I'm not going to worry about that then. I'm just going to go... Ooh, I didn't want to miss that ladder. Didn't want to miss that one either. So rude. This game's so rude sometimes. It's like, yeah, I want you to go in there, but I want you to struggle, baby. And I'm like, no. No. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah. Oh, also, fact. Zelda fact of the day. This game... I'm sure people know this fact by now, but this game is actually based on the... 10... No, the... I have to read down my notes here. Represents the... 5... I mean, it's a grief. Goodness, I cannot talk. <laughs> but yeah, it's the, the, sta the stages of grief is what I was trying to say. Five stages of grief, which makes sense considering on a mask and what's happening around in terminal and stuff like that. I just thought it was kind of interesting. So I thought I would share that little fact with you since I just like looking up facts and listening to facts about this game. And since we're playing the game anyways, even if it's just a randomizer, we may as well wait. Oh, after all of that, we didn't even get the pipe. But you know what? Oh well. Does it really matter? Oh wait, no. It's this pipe here. You got, dude. Calm down here. <laughs> calm down, Abuko. We did get that. It's just we need to get the one here now, so we can then progress by not that much. <laughs> Let's be real here. Not by that much, because oh, 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 really? You're gonna be like that? You're gonna give me bombs too? 
I mean, I'm not gonna play about getting bombs because bombs are nice. Uh, oh shit! Ticket just trying to get to us. Ticket, you need to calm down. Oh, we can't stun him. No, oh, okay, whatever. I mean, I guess we could freeze him. Don't. Oh, well, that works. I'm guessing that's because he was in the water. Otherwise, I have no idea. Where'd our map go? There it is. So we do have a chest here somewhere. Whew, just about didn't make that. That would have been awkward because we don't have that much magic anymore. <laughs> oh well. But just, and another fact, which I thought was really funny, but it also hint at it anyways. <laughs> uh, the bomb shop shell seller. Bomb, bomb shop seller, yes, bomb shop seller. The bomb shop seller, he actually wants... He actually had a plan to go to the moon. So I'm just trying to remember which way to get back up. But the funny part is about that though is that he uh, made the plans and he actually wants to go to the moon via bombs. And I'm just like, it makes so much sense. It doesn't really make that much sense. I don't know why I said that. But I just thought that was kind of funny. And I also thought it was just a fun fact in general. Because hey, why not? Just a recovery heart. That surprise. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. But at the same time, like, why? Just why? Just why? Just that. Hello, little clam. Don't believe there's anything down there we need. But I'm gonna go over and say hello to the clam. So there might also just be potions and stuff down here, anyways. We may as well go check. So we do need more. Uh, we do need more. Of... Okay, there we go. We do. <laughs> We do need more magic. Oh, I didn't even realize the ticket was down here. Oh my gosh, they're so small. I love them. Little cutie. Wonder. No. Kill the clown for no reason. I love tech height. What about you? Do we have to kill you for no reason? Oh, now we just have to kill you with a reason. Because you keep hitting us, you jerk. I think one of these might also have a fairy. So it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and... You know, check all these, especially saying a fairy could have something we need. And even if not, we'll still get stuff we still need. Like magic repels. Magic repels. Magic refreshing. By refreshing, I mean just whatever. I'm not even going to worry about just continuing that sentence because I am making no sense at all. Mm mm. But okay, so that gets that. Which, in, which means. We can go through some more? No, it just means we can complete the complete here. But we can't really complete it because we don't have the key. But we can get the ferry at least. I think we just need to go down... I think the red pipe or the green pipe. This is the part where it's just really awkward for me trying to remember which one we need to go through. Okay, looks like we can go down here. Oops. Well, not there. But down here, which I think is the one we want to go through, correct? Yes. So we can't get to the boss. There's ways to glitch through into the boss rooms, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I guess we can mark that down then. Since that there is another token. Sorry, I was like in the middle of yawning. So it's just like, why do I have to yawn the most awkward times? <laughs> so we can do this. I'm trying to remember what else we can do, because we need to find a boss key. I guess in the next episode, I can <laughs> glitch <laughs> into uh, a <laughs> kind of valley. Oh, nope. Oh, wait, yes, okay. Do you remember? I think the one's down here. <sighs> see if we can get it. See if it's worth getting, though, first before we do that. Okay, well another heart container. I guess we can go ahead and do that. But we don't have to fly to it. We can just easily surface. Because it just makes things quicker. <laughs> so I'm also getting a little bit tired as I'm sure you guys can also tell when I'm starting to just be like bleh, bleh. And also the fact that when I get tired enough it makes it super hard for me to speak. I'm sure it's with most people too. But yeah, so I guess we will get this last fairy here, or well, just a heart, but it will be the last fairy of here, technically. 
and we'll leave it here. And I'll try to think of other things we can do. Because in the next episode, we will then actually do cafes and the Angie's Quest, so I can get that stuff ready. Set the cycle, yada yada yada, and I'll just get all those items stuff ready for the next episode. And if we can't, if we don't get the Garros mask, then I will glitch into the Ikana Valley so we can progress regardless. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, do what you do. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!